Hi everybody and welcome to this qualifying round hole guide video for the Hot Springs Tournament looking at Pro Division. Before we get started please do hit thumbs up on the video and make sure you are subbed to the channel as well. Totally free to do so. I'm going to talk you through the shots with the replays on screen that I am using and go through the adjustments as well. Be sure to check out the playlist for the rest of the holes in the qualifying round. Link in the video description down below. Here we go. Here we go then with hole number three. Difficult par five here and an eagle will be considered a drop. And we do have headwind with crosswind here, so it is going to be a berserker, I'm afraid. Four and a half top spin, two bars side spin to the left. And we want to aim straight down the fairway. Once we have done that, then we're going to adjust our rings. Max plus 10. Max plus 10, power 5 settings as we are using a power 5 ball. Don't worry about adjusting up onto the slope there. We do have room um, and the headwind will counteract the extra distance we'll get here. A little bit of curl to the left just because we don't want to be threatening the rough on the right. Perfect ball and we don't want to push this ridiculously hard. We just want a nice safe drive over the rough and um, going towards this little plateau here. Anywhere around 3.30, absolutely fine. Second shot, going to go with a wood club with 180 yards and as much topspin as possible. So I would favour topspin over accuracy here. Max topspin, one bar side spin to the left, stretch out and aim straight down the middle. Once we've done that, we adjust max plus 10. And because we do have a slight tailwind angle now, having turned a corner in the direction that we're shooting on this hole, we can then push back up to max. Uh, a tweak that I'm going to give you here, though, is uh, go with full overpower regardless. Here I only go with three rings, and we need to push it a little bit further. So go with max overpower, and if you're conscious of hitting great right, then apply a little bit of curl to the left just to counteract any potential great right or the wind push. Third shot replay you are going to see here is from a second shot that I did go with max overpower. You're just about going to be in wedge range from there. So that's why I would suggest going with max. So here we've gone with full overpower on this one and I'm going to play end bring a school. Even though we are before the pin at max distance, I'm estimating this as being 106% slider. So do preset your wind app to go above 100%. As you can see, we're just before the pin with max wedge. We don't get a full ball guide here on uh, this green, depending where you're landing. So be sure to uh, estimate if you need to. And if you see any glitchy spots as well, maybe go with a little bit of topspin or backspin to get around any potential glitches. 10% elevation here rather than 20 because the shot is uphill. So this is not a guaranteed drop. You do have to be wary of glitchy spots and also estimate club range as best you can. But it is going to be a good chance and an eagle will feel like a drop on this tough par 5. Thank you for watching and good luck. Bye for now.